Hi everybody, it's Mr. Marcello from Creative Action. I hope you're all doing really well. I am so excited about what we have for you here today. Um, over the years, uh, 10 years, I've made a lot of movies with Creative Action with young people just like you. And one of the things I thought would be really fun to do is watch some of those old films and reconnect with some of the young people who've made them and now they've grown up a little bit and they're gonna look, and so in this series of videos, we're gonna watch a film and then we're going to talk to uh, one of the young people that helped make it uh, and they can tell us their memories about making it and some fun stories and maybe some advice about how to be really creative and uh, it'll be a lot of fun, a nice trip down memory lane and hopefully we'll learn something about all these amazing filmmakers. So the first film we're gonna do, it's one of my favorites, it's one of the first films I ever made at Creative Action. I made it at Del Valley Middle School with their uh, Ace Film Club and uh, it was I made it my first year and it's called The Queen. The Queen is the story of two young women who are battling to win the Valentine's Day Queen election. And at first they're bitter rivals, but along the way they become close friends. Uh, it stars uh, V Trin and our guest today, Rebecca Gomez. Uh, and we're going to talk to, uh, we're going to watch, so you can watch The Queen by going to the link below. And, uh, and then we're going to talk to Becky about her experience making it. And it should be a really good time. So go watch The Queen and then we will see you to talk to Becky. All right, we are here with Becky Gomez from uh, Del Valley Middle School, formerly from Del Valley Middle School, uh, and Del now from Stanford University, and uh, but currently in Austin, Texas, right? Currently, yes. Currently back in Austin. Becky uh, played um, Morgan Friedman in The Queen, and so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, Becky's time in creative action and making The Queen. Uh, so... Um, how are you doing today, by the way? I'm doing really great. Um, being home has been really nice. So I know all of my parents have been really nice. All right. So how did you, um, so let's, let's go back. Like how did, when and how did you get involved in creative action programming? Um, actually, this, this is one of my favorite stories. This is, this is very honestly one of my favorite stories of all time because it, it kind of turned into, like I had heard about creative action or not creative action, but like our after school program in which creative action was um, involved, but the logistics to how I got involved was actually me and V were skipping school after school. We were skipping our tutoring and we ended up running into um, Mr. Seeger, formerly working at um, Del Valley Middle School. Great guy. He was, um, he would look out for people that were not where they should have been after school and me and V went into uh, Marcelo's film class <laughs> because um, we were running around after school and that's kind of how we ended up becoming involved because we absolutely loved the class that we uh, ran into and personally had never had a lot of creative outlets um, kind of offered in regular school programming and it was very different from anything that we'd ever been in and she was like I guess you want to come back next time and I was like yeah I guess and then it was like a six-year the beginning to your journey with creative action yeah what was it about the program that you really that appealed to you do you think um i think it's just such a different especially in like a time when it's um kind of not the not i guess middle school is already a difficult time and so the opportunity to have um to kind of like express yourself and channel a lot of um the emotions you're feeling into like something that is tangible like forming relationships with people maybe also which was really hard in middle school and being in an environment with someone that's like open to those things happening and guiding those things happening um was really facilitating to like a lot of a lot of growth that i think i had in middle school that i wouldn't have otherwise oh. okay so um so we started, I mean, I don't, I actually don't remember all that much about how this project started. I remember one thing about the queen, which was that we were on, we were, it was like the week before spring break and we had, we were doing stuff like filmy type stuff, the whole, the whole first few months trying to figure out what we wanted to do. And there was a week where like half of our students were out because they were auditioning for cheerleading. Yes. And so we decided, let's make a movie while they're gone that's really good and fun. And so then sort of in, the, in, a, in kind of a blast of creativity, we just in a day like sketched out this idea. Do you, do you remember anything from that at all? 
I do remember that it was kind of like, I remember the creative process was always really, really fun because it was really natural. So I remember we were all sitting in our chairs and like all like spitballing ideas and someone suggested like they should be like prom queens. Like that would be really fun. And then kind of like everyone was like, oh, and then it would be really funny if one of the prom queens was like the Cheeto girl, like the hot Cheeto girl or whatever, the Cheeto girl. Girl. And then like from there it was everyone was kind of building on everyone's ideas. And I remember it being like it was really like the hardest part. I remember like still being in the room, the hardest part was always getting the first idea out there. But it seemed like once that was out there, everyone else would like suggest it was very obvious when an idea was working because everyone else would build on it. I remember um, that because I remember this moment and I think this is really where the idea like, okay, this is what we're doing was we were like, okay, these two kids are running for, for queen and we could have all these other fun candidates like the Cheeto girl. And then at one point someone was like, oh, the Cheeto girl wins because she gave everybody Cheetos. And yes. then that moment, I think that made the movie because at the moment that, that she, we realized, okay, it's not about the election. It's about this friendship and we can build these things and still have this punchline to the Cheeto and we plant it early and all the kind of the structural things about how a movie works together came together from like this. And everyone was like, yes, 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 yes. And that was it. I think, we, I think at that point, we just kind of took off with it and ran. So um, Talk to me about a little bit about your memories from actually like making it and like shooting it. It was like a semi-improvised movie. Yes. And, and so tell me a little bit about what that was like for you. It was really, I think that from the very, uh, there's some moments that like still when I look back on it, like I think the moment when we were in the principal's office, uh, um, when we were sitting in the office and, and like moments like that where I remember like the nervous, like I still get the feeling in my stomach of like the nervousness of like, oh my gosh, like, this is something I've never, this is so far from anything I've ever done before. Um, but it's so fun. Like, it's so fun. And I remember just looking forward to, like, shooting so much or, like, anything that had to do, I, I remember it was something that I always looked forward to. And I, like, I remember it in a very, like, as a very, as a very, I think the the, the fact that the feeling still come to me when I watch the movie is really special because it's, like, after all these years, I still remember like that feeling of like, this is something I've never felt before. This is something like, it's like this excitement. It's like something I'm like really looking forward to. Also something I'm kind of scared of. But I remember, I remember mostly like all of the negative, any negative that came from it was like, I don't want to be bad. I don't want to like, I'm a middle schooler, you know, I don't want to look uncool. I don't want to like, <laughs> um, it was mostly surrounding a lot of, um, kind of like the difficulty of just being a middle schooler or being a and, and how did you how did you overcome that nervousness in terms of the work like because there are moments in that movie like the dance off or whatever oh, where, you're, you're, where, you're, where you're in front of a lot of people just being completely ridiculous and I'm curious yeah. like how did you how did you uh sort of muster that courage to put yourself out there I think it was the fact that like everyone I, I again i think that it's like set up in a way where everyone feels comfortable and like that is the key to why like why those scenes are able to happen why like people are able to like let loose in a lot of these situations that's why i was because i felt like supported by everyone there it was like all of us are like you know no one here is going to be like oh at, at least in in the group you know maybe other people at that dance were not as supportive of it but definitely the people a lot of confused in like, stares i think is what yeah everyone that. is like what is going on and <laughs> definitely the people in the group though and knowing like you know there's there's like the person that's like filming or the like the, the people that are like they're supporting and it, it felt like just an environment where it was like we're all doing the same thing and we're all supportive of us doing the same thing and like that makes it acceptable and one of the things I really like about the Queen is that everyone who's in the movie worked like 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 every like that was the the entire group is in that movie somewhere, and there maybe maybe there's one or two people who weren't in the movie at all or whatever because they didn't want to be, but like I think everybody has a small part in the film at least, and every small part shines. Like Ashley's funny, yeah. uh, Rafael is funny, <laughs> Diana's funny, Alonzo's funny, uh, yeah. um, you know. Uh, Gabby as the Cheeto girl is unbelievable. Uh, my favorite memory of Gabby is that 
and this is I, I know this because uh, when I was on some stuff in Hollywood, like you'd see these like really gifted improvers who would in comic shows. Like I worked on Psych, and the main guy on Psych, he has this thing where like no, none of his takes are the same. They're always different. Every single take is different. He says something differently funny every time. And so the editors can pick the funniest line, right? And that's what Gabby was like. We would do like five takes and each take would have a completely different joke in it that she would just make up on yeah. the spot. And so we could just pick like the funniest jokes from all of them. So she's, she is like completely funny the entire time because she was just like on the spot, the f just immediately the funniest person. Uh, I always remember that really well. Um, what is there a moment maybe that you're most proud of in the queen um i think like again because it was just so early it was a lot of like um a lot of like i'm scared or i'm scared to look goofy i'm scared of this and like it was a lot of a lot of those emotions and so and that and that was like i think in the scene where me and v, me and tracy like make up um and that was like a really emotional like I remember being like really emotional in that scene and like feeling very like vulnerable in that moment and I remember it was just my favorite because it felt like we're these two characters and we in no way have this conflict but like it was like a bonding experience in like our real life um in that like we had this vulnerable moment together that you know like I'm not Morgan she's not Tracy and like that was really special to me. I think that was definitely my favorite moment. That, in scene, terms is, of, that scene was really uh, difficult to shoot, I remember, for me. For me. Yeah. But yeah, no, it definitely was. Yeah. And I remember, like, I, I mean, to this day, I'm like, that is so incredible to me that it was like, like, a mo like we were not, you know, it wasn't like we we're shooting our, our own intimate moment, but it was, inc like, incredibly intimate and vulnerable and it felt and like that was really special to me because I was like whoa this is something like you know it's not just like me goofing around on a camera like this is really really great like and that's this is that's really nice. that's what it felt to me because the rest of the movie were improvising and we're joking and we're doing all these fun things but that that scene was scripted mm -hmm. and court and rehearsed and we we're and and it was kind of a risk because here's this really funny movie with this great punchline with these great punchlines and then we're gonna put this scene that's like straight up dramatic in it and really character driven and we're gonna make the people feel for these characters and you know we, we had always talked about like how the office and like that was like our touchstone was the office right and so and the office has those moments where like it's really powerful it's really funny but it's also really powerful and you go back and forth so we wanted we were trying to do that and I remember, like, I didn't know, like, are these kids going to be able to handle, a, like, a real script like this? Are they going to be able to handle, like, here are the beats? Are we going to talk about, are we going to be able to make it work in this kind of things? And, like, and fit, will it, will it fit thematically into what we're doing? And, and that was, to me, like, I was really, because also, uh, that was, like, my first year. So I didn't know if this was a model that was going to work, right? So um, being able to, being able to, play that scene just have it work and it's beautiful and then like you cut and then you cut to gabby dancing with the cheetos and it's just like it's so yeah. funny <laughs> it's so funny um and and it worked i i was really pleased and then that was the moment i think that i realized like oh we can really do special things here i think in this class if we if we keep that up um i'm also really proud of just filming at the dance in general we never did anything like that again where we went to like a public, there was like a real dance. The scenes at the dance are at the real dance. And, uh, yeah. and we had this big crowd and the music and all these, it was like very production value to be at the, and then we shot a few things the next day during after school, but we did like flashing lights and stuff to make it feel like uh, that wasn't it. But like, I remember very much that like, it was really cool to be able to go. I went, I remember going to it. I'm going to a middle school dance tonight to shoot extras <laughs> for this movie. Um, so, you we we we've done other we did other things uh together you were in changing lives uh we did that movie last day school which we'll do a set we'll do we'll we'll, we'll we'll do a separate interview for that one but um i want to know like what did you learn from being in that film like what's something that really you're taking what's like your main takeaway from that film i would say i think just like the value in like i i think i I think while I had had like more traditional like art classes and things like that growing up, I think it was a, the first time that I realized like the extreme value that there was 
is and like the the real gem that there was in like um being involved in like a really creative experience and how emotional that was like it was not like it wasn't like an energy release it was like emotionally involved like i i actually and like i always think of um like i i i feel like middle school just would not have been the same like if i was not in like if it would have been a completely different um i feel like i would have been a very different person and i feel like that's really exciting to me and i think that that sounds very like like headliney like Jay, like oh life changed like not clickbait and it's like it really isn't it really was i think one of the most special experiences i've been able to be a part of and i think like not to again not to be like dramatic or or loose with words i it definitely feel like it changed my life like it was really great um i think having an outlet like that is just such a special gift and like yeah i mean i i i always talk about it with people that tell me like you know what my what my experiences were like growing up it's like always a part of like my my growing up stories like in college and stuff and with people that i meet now and all right, we just had a little tech diff, but here we're back. Um, so you're still, you still talk to a lot of the, the queen kids. Yes, no, it feels like, um, it feels like working on a project that was so, like I described, like super emotional, super involved. It's like impossible to not have some sort of tie, some sort of relationship. And like that's, and, and it's not like that ended there with a lot of people after that experience, we were, like became friends. Um, and so I do, I was talking to Ashley the other day. She is um, doing great, starting her YouTube channel, doing makeup, doing fashion, thriving. And now we were it's talking very, about that. very on we, brand for Ashley. She's very on brand and I'm super excited for her. And I was looking for Roth, who was in the unibrow scene. I was, um, yeah. the other day I, I'd watched it. I was like, I want to go check on Roth. I haven't heard about Roth in a while. And so it was definitely, um, it's definitely like a Uncle Rico kind of thing where we always like, oh, remember those good old like queen days? And <laughs> It is a telling thing. Like when you all were in eighth grade and you were in Changing Lives, you weren't in our film program anymore because you moved up to Changing Lives. And Rafa had gone, Rafa had gone to a different school. Diana had gone to a different school. Margarita was in high school because she was older than us. Everyone else was sixth grade. She was seventh grade. And so she would now had already been, she was a freshman in high school. And uh, Gabby, who played the Cheeto girl, was like in track and like busy. But I remember that we were like, let's do a, a reunion photo of the cast of the queen. We did a photo shoot of the cast of the, of the, cast of the queen. All through, and Diana came back. Raf came back. Margarita yeah. came back. And Gabby like, like left track early because and it really i think speaks to the bond that you all formed with each other and for this process that like and for the and, the and with this film that like this film for some reason like everything just you everyone just kind of crystallized around it in a really fun way um i want to talk to you about v who's the other lead in the film uh you and v were best friends since what first grade first uh, grade. uh mm -hmm. and and v uh passed away unexpectedly last october uh, but I want to take a moment to talk, tell us a little bit about like what was so special about V as an actor and as a friend. Um, definitely. Well, V, I mean, I'm, I would like to say I'm biased, but I think most people that knew her would agree with me. Is she was like one of the most unexpected, like incredible people. Um, definitely the most unexpected and incredible person I've ever met. I remember like, it was so like the reason that I felt, like our friendship like we would spend days days like living in each other's houses like she would spend a couple days here I would go back and like I remember thinking like there's something really special about the how she always has like she always brings like she's so unexpected like she's there's always something there's always like a side of her that is really really special and really really new and I remember I was really scared because I really enjoyed whenever we ran into like um film i was really like oh i don't know like i don't know if this is v's thing like it was my thing like i really enjoyed it um and she was like just as excited about it as i was and i i think that that was a really cool thing like i was like oh cool like this is something that i me both me and my best friend like enjoy and like another thing that we can do together um and i think like as in and in, in that being said like working with her in like 
like script or writing and like script reading and and acting it was like another layer of like whoa like this is i've known her my whole life and this is like another like incredible thing that she does like she always like you know she's so full of like so yeah. many uh talent so many and what's interesting is you two as actors, I remember were very different actors and very different, had very different processes. You're much more like, and then you would, I would cast you in different ways. Like your, your thing, you're much more naturalistic with your acting and much more of an everyman type. Like you're the, you're, a, you're kind of the straight man to a comedic thing. You're not as you're, you're much more like a Seinfeld or curb kind of character that like things happen to and then you, and you have a very yeah. like plain way of talking and and sort of plain way of reading the lines and v is a much different actor v is a more of a character actor and a process v was much more of a character actor a process actor and v was had this kind of manic energy as an actor <laughs> that really bounced off well against the two of you. And like, it was so clear the moment we saw both of you, like who your characters were. And uh, it was really interesting to see that process happen. And also, and just to see the two of you bounce off each other, because it was the, the, something that I always worried about as the teacher was, I didn't want to put these two friends in competition with each other about who was better or who was worse. And it was so easy not to do that because you two understood that you were both very different. And that, yeah. and that as long as as long as in the movie you two come across together and different together, that it worked out really well. And that also works out in the other movie, in the last day of school, it's the same way. Yeah. Um, so my uh, and uh, so uh, my last question is: I have two last questions. Sorry, uh, what cool th are you? You're in Stanford now. Yes. And what cool so things I are am. you doing there? Um, well, I started off as in mechanical engineer and I moved in now into design so I am super happy I think I've been doing some pretty cool stuff um being in design like I have the opportunity to kind of have a really open-ended approach to like how I, I I guess the main theme or like the thing that I keep thinking about is like I want to like revisualize the world like in a way that is more accessible and that sounds as vague as it is like it is is very much like I'm designing everything from like I'm re I'm working on redesigning like everything from women's like um, sanitary products to like redesigning uh, kitchenware to like redesigning um, the way that we like think about the the access that we have to like things like terms and conditions so all all over the place I'm definitely the happiest I've been in my in terms of like what I've looked into studying and I think this provides me the most freedom I one of my teachers always says like design is art with constraints and I like um that. I think that that I really like that I really like that and I feel like I'm like I'm a little too type a for um to be an artist I think that um, design is kind of my 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 passion so right. it's been really exciting to get involved in like really like you know, remove the barriers of like, what is it that I can do and really just run with um, ideas. And I'm lucky enough to have the, the resources and the ability to do that at my school. Um, so yeah, it's, I can tell you like, it has been, and we've, and we've stayed in touch all these, in touch all these years. And uh, aside, another testament to the staying power of the queen is that when we made the queen two, at my last year in Del Valley, we made the queen two. And you and V and Gabby all immediately came back like, yes, no question. When do you need me? And you bought and you and like it was just immediately like to play your roles again. And that was always really fun to see. I was really uh, touching. But I followed you guys throughout. High, obviously, I followed you throughout high school and you were valedictorian and at Del Valley High and and you worked really hard. And just to see you now at Stanford and succeeding and doing all these wonderful things and to being like to know that we might have played a small role in that uh, makes me really happy. And makes all of us very, very proud. And I want to ask, finally, uh, what is, uh, we have probably have some young people from Creative Action, some of our Creative Action friends now uh, watching this. What's some advice you might give to a young Creative Action kid, an actor, a filmmaker, any an anybody who wants to be creative and what that, or maybe is feeling a little bit of a slump? And like, how has that? How what advice would you give about being creative and how it's helped you? I would say, like, I think that the the moment that I let and like. I, like I said, I think it's played a huge role actually in my life, like not a small one. And that, and in order for that to happen, I think that it requires letting go of a lot of the like anxieties that surround being um, like a younger person in like a creative space that maybe you've never been in 
before. And I think like embracing that ambiguity was really, really instrumental in helping me like overcome the fear of like looking like a lay middle schooler or the fear of like, well, my parents, like, what are my parents going to think? But I'm like, you know, hanging around till whatever time, like making movies. And it, it, I think that um, having like the ability to, and, and I think like trusting in your classmates or trusting in the people in the groups that you're in um, combined with like trusting the teaching artist is, is what I would suggest. I think that if that happens, everything else is smooth sailing. And like, um, I really do think like trusting the process is one of the things that I'm a very non-trusting person. So I don't like when people tell me that, um, I'm very much, uh, like to be in control of situations. And I think that like one of the few times that I was not, I had one of the best experiences of my life. So I would say that would be my advice. Just like go with it, trust the process, trust the, trust the teaching artist, trust the, your classmates. And, and trust I yourself. Think be, like I trusted yeah, y'all, exactly. right? Yeah. And it's, it's so easy to think like, because at least in my experience where I'd never done anything like that before, like I'm, I'm bad at this because I don't know what everyone else is doing and believing like, no, you know, you're, um, what you're doing is okay there is like no uh, while there are definitely people to take like inspiration from and like learn from um definitely like you're not doing it wrong and that's that's not that's physically not possible and I think that's really reassuring also really rare I think well thank you so much for spending some time to talk to us about the queen uh we're going to talk to you about the last day of school uh, because that's another one we want to talk, uh, do an interview for. Uh, but uh, thank you so much, and thank all of you for being here. Uh, and uh, and we'll see you next time. All right, everyone, wave goodbye. <laughs>